We are now going to demonstrate how to perform the King Devic test, which is technically used for sideline concussion screening, but we do use it clinically to determine if people have difficulty with psychotic movements of their eyes. The test consists of a demonstration card and three test cards, which the tester will time how long it takes the person to read through each of the cards. You want to give them the cues to not use their head to turn to read, so they should keep their head still and follow the numbers with their eyes, and not use their thumbs to follow along with the lines. So I'm gonna pass the card on to Leslie. So this is a demonstration card. What you're gonna do is you're gonna read from the top to the bottom, left to right, and try and read it as fast as you can. You good? Yep. Go ahead and read that card. Two five eight three nine four six eight three six seven four six seven zero one five three five eight three seven five three zero. So as you go through each of the test cards, you're gonna to wanna to ask if they have any symptoms as they're going along. As the timer, you want to start the timer when she reads the first number on the first test card and then stop it when she reads the last number on the first test card. And then you will repeat that for the next two test cards. Are you ready? Yes. Go ahead. 2-5-8-0-7-3-7-9-4-6-5-3-1-6-4-7-9-7-3-5-1-5-4-9-2-6-5-5-7-3-3-1-8-6-4-5-3-7-5-2. Good. How do you feel? Good, good. So now she will turn the test card to test card two. This one does not have lines for her to follow along with, so it's a little bit more challenging. When you're ready, go ahead. Three seven five nine zero two five seven four six one four seven six three seven nine three nine zero four five two one seven five three seven four eight seven four six five two nine zero two three six. Good. How do you feel? Good. Good. And then you're going to turn to the last test card. These numbers are not as symmetrical, so they're again, they're harder to track. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Go. Five four one eight zero four six three five nine seven five four two seven three two six nine four one four five one three nine three four eight five five one six three one four three five two seven. Good. So that concludes the test. What you're observing is as they do the test, do they have any increased symptoms such as headache, dizziness, nausea, or um, pressure in their eyes, which are common reports from athletes who have been concussed. You want to use that information to determine their readiness to start to read because words on paper are more challenging than numbers on a card. If they have trouble with the numbers on a card, then they're obviously going to have trouble reading. And so you need to gradually perform um, introduction to reading activities as part of the return to learn progression. The other thing to note is that there is a learning effect when you repeat the test. So oftentimes their scores will improve as they repeat the test multiple times over different clinical assessments. And that is okay, you want to see improvement. It is when you do not see improvement that you're gonna be a little bit concerned and consider that there may be some more vestibular or visual involvement with this athlete.